Drop it out for a little bit. Sir! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the Nas. Do they even use that anymore? I don't even know. Show you my age. All right. Back for another episode here live. We're not live. We're not live. We are pre recorded here <laughs> at the So Let's Go podcast. Que hola, que long. How you doing? Oh. Okay, guys. Uh, so we got Bad Bunny here from Bullet Train. All right, guys. So, like always, like, subscribe, hit the notification bell, and uh, comment down below. All right. Brad Pitt starring Bad Bunny. AKA, don't do it, don't do it. All right. Starring Bad Bunny, starring my boy Brad Pitt. About 100 cast members, so you're going to be there for a long time. Everybody is. All right. Who wants to go first for Bullet Train? Who wants to go first? Who wants to go first? Who wants to go first? Raise your hand. I'll go first. You go first? All right. Give me your thoughts on the Bullet Train. Initially, when I was watching it, about a quarter in, I kept thinking, this would have been better as a TV show. Oh, TV show. I think, I mean, obviously, granted, you can't have all those actors in there because they'll be a very expensive TV show. Yeah. But I would definitely like to have seen it more as a TV show and you can develop each person's character. So you have some type of feelings for that character if they die or live. I, I, mean, I did not care if anybody in that movie died. I really didn't. Not even Brad Pitt. Good point. Good point. Uh, overall, I was, I, was, I, was, I was actually happy when Bad Buddy died. <laughs> Oh, oh. It was coming. It came overall, what do you give it? Quick. What do you give it overall? Oh, like a rating? Yeah, like a rating we do every single <sighs> single video. Man, already, I mean, uh, five? Five out of ten? Awesome. Five. Damn, rip. Five. D. All right, Um, my thoughts on Bullet Train. Um, I thought it was all right. I would say it's uh, an action comedy movie. You know, it doesn't really take itself that serious, even though it's like one serious plot in there. Delivering the briefcase from Tokyo to Kyoto. There's a bunch of like plots with the uh, different characters that the cast made a little bit better. That's my thing on it. You got Brad Pitt in there. You got Bad Bunny. Oh! You got uh, what's this guy's name? Uh, Aaron, Aaron Taylor Johnson. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Lemon and and Tangerine. Mm-hmm. That's her name. They did a pretty good. Uh, they were like a comedic relief, you know. Yeah, I, I, I didn't. Do you think the comedy landed all the time? Because honestly, for me, the comedy was hit or miss throughout the entire two hours of that movie. It, uh, it yeah. comes and it goes. The movie was a little bit too long, especially in the third act. I was a little, all right, I'm checking out. But my overall thoughts, I would give this probably a, a seven. I'll give it a seven. It's not fucking bad yeah. for all the shit you just said. Seven's pretty good. Oh, damn, seven's, seven's pretty, pretty good. good. <laughs> seven? Amazing. Seven out of ten. Jack, talk to me. Oh, whack. <laughs> whack. Unbelievably okay. stupid. Dumb. <laughs> I hated Brad Pitt in this, in this movie. Come on, I cannot stand. Dude, dude. You know what you know, <laughs> you know what he's Every doing. Every fucking word that came out of his mouth, dude. He's talking to his therapist while he's killing people. Dude, <laughs> he's, he's, he's talking to Sandra so Bullock. Stupid. It, it was just. It wasn't like entertaining at all. Like, I think, like Tony said, I didn't give a fuck if anybody died. I want everybody to die, to be honest. Yeah, said, everybody. I didn't give a shit. Yeah. Even Sandra Bullock in the end. <laughs> I definitely wanted um, this idiot that played. You know, uh, fucking what's his name. Is he in Damn. 808? You mean him? Channing Tatum. Yes, Channing, Channing Tatum. Tatum. Bro, okay. I could not oh, stand right. Channing Tatum in that so, one, bro. There was a couple ca- cameos. Bro, I could not cameos. stand it. Why did they make him the way that he made him? It's just so stupid. I thought it was actually in funny. In every movie that I've ever <laughs> seen this idiot, in every movie he plays a stupid character. Stupid, dumb, useless character. In every dumb movie that he makes. Wow. Did he die? So no, you're no. saying you it's were a not a fan. A two. Okay, good. A, a two? two? Was the only best yeah, part. why was that movie wolfing so much? I don't know. He's a wolf. Why was he Mexican? He's Puerto Rican. <laughs> I don't know either. He you know? is Puerto Rican. Everybody. Oh, no, no, no. You're dead. Uh, All righty. <laughs> okay, guys, for me, Bullet Train. Now, from now on with the shows and the, and the, and the movies, I'm going to just do pros and cons. It's easier for me. Uh, the pros, it has some funny parts. I like the power they slid the guy up. And up through the train in the hole and his head was decapitated. Right? <laughs> yeah, that was, was funny. Cool. Yeah, it was just funny. <laughs> I thought it was funny too. as fuck. At this point, yeah, I didn't care anymore. I didn't think this movie. There's <laughs> a bloodbath in that fucking train. I mean, the best part when the, when, when the Lemon ran over the chick. <laughs> yeah, I was like, fair, fair <laughs> part. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. bitch. <laughs> he called her a bitch, right? Yeah. That was, yeah. the, that yeah. was yeah. the post-credit. Yeah. I thought the fight. Yeah. Yeah. That, that scene was awesome. <laughs> That's so ironic too. I thought the truck. I thought the fight between the samurai guy, that he's a samurai every movie. Yes. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, me and Tony are talking about that. Yeah, yeah, you're up next. What movie do you want to Samurai? Samurai. He right. must have a Ghost box of scripts guy. like that at his house. Samurai. 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 Samurai.
Hiroki Sanada. I don't know if I'm saying it correctly. Okay, so um, <laughs> <laughs> just so, you, so the movie, the action was uh, the the little sword fight between him and the Russian guy, which is played by Michael Shannon, was pretty good. That was pretty good. Everything is bombastic, over the top. Everything about the movie, even the names, lemon, tangerine, <laughs> yeah. apple, strawberries, whatever. <laughs> Everything was just over the top. Um, so it was, so it was okay. It was a fun time. Like I, like Tony and everybody said, I don't care about the characters. I thought that the, you know, the, the the fact that everything was over the top was really overwhelming. It was just I felt like I was seeing like a, like this big like light show the whole time. Um, so yeah, I gave it a five out of ten. But what do you think about Brad Pitt's performance though? Yeah. Brad Pitt, you know Brad no, Pitt. What? I didn't Brad, understand. Brad, Brad Pitt to me over the years has gotten better. This is not a good role for him. Obviously, no, this is the most stupidest role it's he's a, ever played. It's a paycheck yeah. for him. Super paycheck. Little sneak peek: We're probably going to have a debate soon about whether we like famous musicians in movies. That's going to be down the road. Yes. Um, I don't like Bad Bunny in this. I get why they put him, but this is the thing that I would say: the movie made thirty million dollars only. Right? That's bad. So if yeah. you spend all this money on Bad Bunny, Brad Pitt, Channing Tatum, Ryan, no, Ryan bad, but you're not, you're not why, paying Bad Bunny a lot of money. I can tell you that why? Right. But you're why? But why have them in? Why have them in there? Now the movie's a joke. You're still not making money that you want to make. So it's like why? Have, it only made thirty mil. Thirty million. It's, it was the creators of um, Deadpool. That's too. a bust. All oh, the creators of Deadpool. Yeah, yeah. Oh, this this the, movie was the, the creators director, of yeah. Deadpool. And you, yeah. they even had a cameo of uh, Ryan Reynolds, in uh, it Reynolds for like a moment. And then you think he's gonna, second. for a second, Boom. you think he's gonna come back. They're gonna do something with that, but no, they didn't. That's a thirty million is a bust. I didn't even know that. I didn't even check. So overall, I mean, the movie's a five out of ten for me. Forgettable. It's if you really like funny action movies like that, uh, you might like it. But it's uh, just too much. But it's forgettable. It's forgettable. It's just too much. You know, like too like. Yeah. All right, let's, let's, let's just move on from whatever we're doing here. I don't know. It's just too much yeah. stupidity. I, I felt like I was Brad Pitt in that movie. Like, his attitude toward everybody. Oh, hey, you, you need a napkin, you're dying. You want a bottle of water? You want a blanket? Oh, he was hey, the, dude, everything. Dude. I felt like him. Like, I don't give a fuck either. Yeah, everything, like, everything, everything around movie. him that was happening was bad luck and stuff. Yeah, <laughs> bad luck character. Did whatever. you care for Brad Pitt? I didn't give a fuck for anybody in this movie. Brad Pitt could have died with the poison, the bite, no. snake, venom. I would have been like, all right, cool, whatever. I will be honest, though. There are some for forgettable scenes, like... It's not a quotable movie, you know. <clears throat> I, just, Hell no. I just think that being over the top, just for like everything is over the top. The names, the whole train. There's like a there's like a part of the train that's like a cartoon of like it's so funny. The guy punches the the, the mascot. Remember? Yeah. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. He punches. He punches him. He gets hurt. Yeah. I was like, what? He shook his hand because he was in pain from punching a. He's fighting. He, he's fighting one of the English guys. I forgot lemon or whatever. Uh, it's tangerine, uh, is the, mangoes or whatever. Okay, so look, for example, you see, I've heard already a couple of my friends, even Danny, saying the movie's too long. It's not even that long. It's only two hours, but because everything is so like rushed and forced in there, you're like, here's Bad Bunny. Here's his background story. Everyone dies. Here he is. Here's it. And you're just like, bro, this movie never chills for one second. It's just they even talk while they're fighting. It's so silly. Oh yeah, hey mate, I want to kill you, but hey, let's, let's say we're, we're buddies, and mm. this is so stupid. So you don't care about anybody drives. in the movie. The whole movie you're just watching, you're just like, I don't give a fuck oh, about yep. any of this. We went from trying to kill him with chopsticks to just stopping the fire in the middle. Of yeah, yeah. Oh, drink yeah. the water. Oh, Fiji product placement. Look at Fiji. Yeah, the water bottle so was like a stupid. character of its own. And but why did why did why, why <laughs> did they give character? But why yeah. did why did why didn't they give? My question to the director would be: You gave us the backstory on everybody, but why not Brad Pitt? He's the main actor. I mean, that's a good question. Yeah, that's a great question. We got the English guy's background. Everybody's got, background. Oh, yeah, every, Matt Bunny's background. They talk so much in the movie. It's but so they, overwhelming how much they talk. But they it did give talk. a background of him. Well, no, it was actually Ryan Reynolds was the one that ran over his wife, so never mind. Yeah, it, it was like but, so much talking, even when they're fighting, when they're in the toilet taking the shit, there's talking. It's talking the whole movie. It never just chills and lets you see something cool. And nothing. That's why the movie felt long. Bro, that movie's not long. Every, like, every co action comic book movie out there is like two and a half hours. Some of them you don't even notice it's two and a half hours. Because it's so good, the storytelling of the characters and the writing is so good that you just don't give a, you don't seem to notice that's two and a half hours. This movie was two hours clocked in. Yeah. It's not even long. You just uh, get bored. Yeah, I was yawning in the movie theaters next to him. I almost fell asleep. Yeah. yeah, other than that, it was... Forgettable. Skip it. Very Skip forgettable, it. yeah. Stream it. Whatever I wouldn't. Want. I wouldn't dude, rewatch. I can't believe it only made $30 million. Dude. That's crazy. All those actors. My shoes, dude. Because at the end of the day, the best word of mouth for a movie or a show is, excuse me, the best marketing is word of mouth. Yeah, it's good. It's good. People are gonna go. The thing is that there's a lot of actors there that people be like, "Well, this is one of my favorite yeah. actors. Let me go watch them." Mm -hmm. well, we live in South Florida. Actors. People love it for Bad Bunny. Latin people right now are gonna go watch it mainly because of Bad Bunny. No one's gonna watch that movie. No, no, 
Maybe not. Maybe they'll let it come out. But I'm just saying, like, it's a movie that all right, I'll oh, see it, it might, once. It might do well, like in streaming, like they'll order right. it and yeah, that yeah. yeah. It's just like I said, there's a lot of actors in this movie that you can make. Oh, okay, I like this actor. I'll watch it because of this actor. I watched it mainly because of Brad Pitt. Bad Bunny, honestly, Bad Bunny is without a doubt the most popular person there right now. And it's like false, yeah, it's like false advertisement too because they're in there so short. Oh, Channing Tatum's in here. Listen, listen you're, you're saying Bad Bunny's famous, but he's only famous here in Miami. He's not famous. In South America. He's not in South America. Yeah, they even famous in. You go a little bit further down up, up north of Florida. I don't give a fuck. They, don't know who the fuck they even joke is. with it. In, um, like, okay? the, thing is, the thing is like, <laughs> a, I think he's like a bad bunny. Like, a... oh, hey, did you guys get him? Did you catch it? <laughs> <laughs> they you give a fuck who bad Brad, bunny. Brad, only here in Hialeah. Brad Pitt even tells him in the movie when they're fighting, he's like, oh, dude, I don't even know you. Like, yeah. Yeah. Bro, I don't you even think, know who you, you are. That, but probably some of those actors are there next to him. Like, yeah. who's this guy? <laughs> he was the worst was actor in that movie for sure. My God, he was such a bad actor. He walked around always pissed with his glasses lowered. <laughs> they gave, they gave, they gave, the they gave him the always, badass. His hair was always moving. They gave him the badass lone wolf roll and everything. Yeah, but why? But why? But why have his glasses like that? Who made that? Who, who goes there? And that's goes, probably him. You know that, right? That's him. No, that's probably him. That's probably on his press. contract, right? That's probably on his contract. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> his contract Do is I probably look scarier. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's like an old man coming in. <laughs> 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 and, then, and, then, and then he's dressed like a like a fucking rodeo clown. <laughs> <laughs> and he's wearing the same suit that he wore. When his he, was wife so died. Mad. he was so mad he didn't even shower. He didn't Chase shower. said, fuck this. I'm getting on the plane right now. And I'm going to kill this guy. And then he wants to go on the stupid train. But somehow his hair is still good. The hair is perfect. It's always perfect. <laughs> it perfect. moves here and there like it bounces with his body. You and, know? Then, and then what did he do? He went on the train. And then he, he caught a song. Oh, and he got the, yeah, yeah, the knife yeah. put to his heart. Yeah. <laughs> and, then, and then I don't understand. I'm like, I'll tell the director and the writer, like, well, how does he love his wife so much? But he's such a ruthless killer. Yeah, yeah. So yeah. things don't make sense. And then he has, like, cowboy boots on. I'm like, but this guy's Puerto Rican in real life. <laughs> Why are they making him Mexican? Yeah, it makes no sense. Yeah, hey, let's, let's get Bad Bunny, put him in the movie, and kill him off. Uh, and they kill him real good too. Knife, yeah. to like the double, chest, double the he, death, double death. He was guy, already dead when he got stabbed. He even he got has stabbed in the heart, died, and then he died again. They even killed him. Brad, Brad Pitt killed him. They even give yeah, him accidentally. More, accidentally, they even give him more screen time dead. Yeah, oh, okay, <laughs> 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 yeah more screen time <laughs> dead. Oh, yeah, yeah. Sitting on the, on the chair. What a good movie, man. Yeah. Uh, super fair. My favorite, my favorite character in the movie was actually uh, Michael Shannon. If there's anybody the I wanted, guy. if there's anybody I wanted to, to live, just because I like the actor, out of all those actors in the movie, he's still my fair one there. I will take him right now. If you told me, hey, you're making a movie, who do you want? I want him over Brad Pitt. I don't give a shit. I love that guy. Mike, <laughs> he's Michael the only Shannon. one I like in that movie. No, it was good. <laughs> yeah. All right. So overall, we hated it. Uh, <laughs> oh, not Danny. <laughs> Fucking Danny. Danny kind of liked it. Uh, I'm never gonna watch that movie again. Even if Brad Pitt was like, hey, you want to watch my movie Bullet Train? I'd be like, I'm not watching it. Okay, so <laughs> you're going to watch right. it again? I'll fucking watch it again if he tells me that, yeah. I'm like, yeah, sure. Brad Pitt, right. <laughs> when you're in your house to watch it or what? You bring my family? Danny, you watch that movie again? No, I wouldn't. No, no. No one's going to watch that movie again. Maybe to go to sleep. Mm-hmm. Like when, you know, streaming. Maybe you should see Bad Bunny's outfit again one more time. It was a really good outfit. For real, man. Who, it's who makes that decision? Himself. It's Gary him, Danny, for himself. sure. For sure. Yeah, for That's how he normally dresses. Like a Remember the agents and him have like contracts of how they want their clothes to look. Yeah. Like I heard a story of the Bad Boys, the first movie. Will Smith did not want to have uh, oh, yeah. no shirt off. So Michael Bay said, and the deal was you can have the shirt on. But, I know, I know. Right, yeah, but the buttons are open. I don't know why, but that's just some actors are like that. They want a certain way to look a certain way, and yeah, that's because Michael Bay was young back then. Well, now Michael Bay does what the fuck he nah, wants. Yeah, but you, you get what I'm trying to say. Like, Will Smith was still like, hey, look, I don't want to have my shirt completely off, but. Whatever, that's, that's I just the like, actor for sure. Like, wanted. if I was working on that movie, I was director, and he came in dressed like that, I'd say, You're fired. Yeah, I'm getting a different, a real Mexican. I'm gonna get, get a, a real Mexican. I'm gonna get a good buddy. I'm gonna, <laughs> go, I'm gonna get my Luma, whatever those guys are. They, Aventura. Daddy Yankee. Daddy Yankee. Give me Daddy Yankee. He's probably 50 years old, but let me get him. <laughs> All, right, guys. Apart. All right, guys, we're wrapping it up. We didn't like it. Danny kind of liked it. And that's pretty much it for Bullet Train. <laughs>